Hi, I'm John Napolitano, CEO of U.S. Wealth Management and Braintree Mass. My guest here is Todd Snapkowski, the That's founder right. and president of Snapchef. That's right. Cool name. Thank you. Very so nice. you've been uh, in business for 13 years. You've been a member of the Mass Restaurant Association for 13 years. Correct. You must be getting something out of the membership in the association. Tell us what it is. What do you get out of it? And why should everyone be a member? Well, um, I, I have to say the, the Massachusetts Restaurant Association from day one has always supported SnapChef and what we do, um, which is temporary staffing and training. Um, these shows are a good example of what the MRA does for their members. Uh, this is a great show, great organization. Uh, coming to these shows probably um, kick-started our business in the beginning um, just because there's a ton of clients here that we could actually tap into. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that's the, the key benefit. Um, and then, as a, as a chef, they have a lot of other things that they do, um, seminars and stuff like that that I've attended in the past that have really helped our you know, knowledge of the industry. Todd, for 13 years, you've been specializing in cul culinary staffing for restaurant owners and professionals. You've got to be doing something right, so tell me what it is. What do you want to tell your clients and those that could or should be using you is the keys to your success? Well, I think we're successful because uh, you know there was a big need back 13 years ago when I was a chef for big corporations like Aramark and Sodexo and finding uh, trained, qualified help. You'd, you'd pick up the phone, order a grill cook for the day, and somebody called out sick, they'd send in a guy with a hard hat and work boots, come in to do a 350-person breakfast, and they couldn't flip an egg. Mm. So they'd put them on a cleaning project. So there was a lot of that going on. You don't get 50% of what you ordered. And I said, there's got to be a better way. And it was actually not doing day labor, actually hiring your people's employees, giving them the skills that they need or taking their skills that they have and enhancing them, um, and then putting them in the right position to do the right job. So I think that's been a, a big piece to our success and having a great team around us has been um, a great help as well. You've been at this for a long time, 13 years, great yeah. success. There's some financial acumen and skill that goes along with that. So I'd like to ask you, what words of wisdom might you give to another food service professional to, to make sure that at the end of the day, their life's work adds value to their personal financial situation? I gotta say one step at a time. You know, don't overextend yourself. Um, I can speak from experience. I was running this business back in 2008. I stepped away from the business to do a restaurant because I thought I was going down with the economy. And that was probably the biggest single mistake I've made in my entire business life. A year and four months, $87,000 down the tubes. And uh, you know, I, I got back into my business. It started to elevate a little bit. And we stuck to the core competencies of what we're good at. And that's staffing and training chefs. Mm -hmm. So um, stick with what you're good at, your core competencies, and one step at a time. So focus on your strengths and either delegate or eliminate your weaknesses. Yeah, I, yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Todd. Thank you, John.